inside the system that you change it? Uh, by having people elected? By having no, people elected? You, well, you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I mean, if you can get a senator who's a nice guy, that's better than having a senator who's a rotten guy. But there are very sharp limits on what you can do. I mean, these are institutional facts. I mean, like, say, take a corporation. I mean, suppose the chairman of Ford decided to cut back profits and to use them to improve working conditions and to make safer cars and, you know, put resources into, you know, car ten cars ten years from now that won't wreck the environment and so on. Uh, what will happen to him? Well, for one thing, he ought, probably ought to be put in jail because it's illegal. Uh, he, his, he has a legal responsibility to maximize profit and market share for his shareholders. Well, he wouldn't be put in jail, but he'd surely be kicked out. And somebody else would replace him who would do the right thing. And in fact, if by some miracle he did do what he set out to do, he'd be out of business in a year. Uh, because uh, his competitors wouldn't be doing it, so they'd be underselling him next year. I mean, these are institutional facts. I mean, the individuals in charge may be you know, very nice to their children and friends and give a lot of money to charity. Uh, but it doesn't change anything because they have to act within uh, an institutional framework which requires vicious activity. You're head of a corporation, you've got to be an immoral monster. Otherwise, you can't survive as the head of a corporation. Uh, if you're part of a state system, you're part of the mafia. And the international affairs runs like the mafia. You know, it's power systems that get away with whatever they can. Uh, the United States is more violent because it's more powerful. I mean, if Andorra had U.S. military force, they'd be doing it. Uh, that happens to be the fact about the way the world is. Well, the world can change, and it has changed. It's because of the popular movements. You know, a lot of ferment in the 60s developed much more in the 70s and the 80s, and it just changed the culture. And that's the way to change things.